true, you know so true. So, so I, I guess where the problem is for the guy is when these two powerful women, when these two powerful, important, you know, lovely people are at the loggerhead and you are in the middle. Take a stand. I'm creating this scenario for Timurai and, and uh, Michael. What do you do as a guy? I <laughs> Thank you very wait, much. Wait, I'll, I'll come back to you, Yeti. Okay. Should I go ahead? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, I would just like to corroborate Village Boy's um, perspective and his submission. Very beautiful. Because mm -hmm. um, the man has to be the conciliator in this case. In the sense that you were the one that knows your wife, uh, your mother. Your wife has not lived with your mother for more than, I don't know, maybe just three days when she comes visiting or at most three weeks or two months. But you have been with your mother. You understand the way she thinks, the way she behaves and what pacifies her. You know it. You have mm -hmm. lived with her maybe for the first 20 years of your life. You know your mother, you know, and this is why we must always set precedence for our children because they will always be looking. When your mom, see, there is no way the tongue and the teeth, they fight. So the way you settle things at home, your children are looking at it and your life becomes very easy as a man if you have a great father. Your life becomes very easy because you have a template that you can modify, you can review, and bring out something great by just being more dynamic. So, you know your mother, you have lived with your mother for years, you understand our, past, our world view, so to say. Even if there is social gap, economic gap, you were once at our own side of the world with her experiencing, and that's why the Bible says that we have um, a high priest that cannot be touched with our environment, um, that understands our infirmity. That, so you cannot come here and say you are sick and you don't think that Jesus can actually heal you. So now, if you were in that shoes with her then, even if your wife is the daughter of Buhari or, or Tedola, you are the only person that can bridge that gap. Now, your wife, you met her, you fall in love with her, you build a relationship, you understand her own worldview too. You know her. You know what pacifies her. If, if not any, whatever that comes, um, that comes in between you guys, you know how you say to it yourself. So now you are the only person that understands the two women from both sides. But it will never happen that they will understand each other if they're always at loggerheads. So what you do is first understanding what is causing the problem. See, people that come off as bad, they can come off as bad to you based on maybe three reasons. It could just be because they don't know that this thing they are doing is hurting you. It is their own culture, I believe. In the, um, for instance, um, Sister Yeti actually uh, presented an example the other time that would your mother you not know, say kneel down for me every day? That could be our own cultural belief and she is holding on to it adamantly. So you understand it as a man. The woman does not seem to understand it because she's, she's, she's confused. What kind of cultural belief is this? But you are there as a man, right? So, and you understand your mother as well. So that's one thing. Understand, it could just be they don't know. The woman might just not know. I mean, your mother might just not know that this thing doesn't apply anymore. You know, I can kneel down and not actually respect this person. Just kneel down for Nini Dan's sake. And respect does not always have to do with Nini Dan or prostrating. It depends on what you do, the kind of love you show, the respect you show, how you respond, how you talk to them. So this is what actually means. This is what actually shows if you truly respect someone, not kneeling down. Kneeling down is just a sign on the surface. So is it because the woman does not know, maybe your wife does not know is a cultural belief, or your mother does not know that this thing does not apply in this age? Or it could just be not being unreasonable. They might not just be reasonable, you know. For instance, um, Madame Dorothy mentioned that her daughter-in-law just got delivered of a baby and she did everything possible to be kind to her. She's just being reasonable, thinking that, well, I can manage the floor. Why this woman needs to rest on the bed? 
So it's just, she's just being reasonable, but not everybody will be reasonable. And that's why our experiences are very subjective. What we will say today is dependent on whatever we have learned, we have read or experienced. So we might have differing opinions. So that person might just be unreasonable. And the last one, which is the most challenging is just being wicked. Some people are just wicked. They are just wicked. And it doesn't mean the mother-in-law is wicked or the daughter. It could be anybody. It could be the daughter-in-law that is wicked to the mother-in-law. It could be the mother-in-law that is wicked. So whether this thing is being caused by either of uh, one of these three things that I just mentioned, it is your own work as the man to understand the cross of the matter, to understand the basis, the foundation. Because if you don't understand it, you will keep being conciliator that does not uh, resolve any conflicts. You will be doing all your best and it wouldn't work. Because if you don't know, Madam Yeti mentioned something that the woman just wants to shout at you. There could be something behind that shouting. Is it that she's just wicked or unreasonable or she doesn't know? Is that something she needs to know? So there are a lot of things to unpack from these um, issues between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. So it is first understanding that your work as a man is not to, you know, overly or obviously support one or pick one over the other. And secondly, you must understand the basis of the matter. So mother-in-law and daughter-in-laws are keeping secrets that the man does not know. <laughs> and if he's not careful, he's going to die in the middle of the two of them. Hmm. They know things about each other. You don't know it as a man. Hmm. You don't know it. And they have things against each other. And if you don't understand the, the basis of that issue, you would never move forward with resolving the conflict. So I believe wow. if there is anything we are going to do to resolve this kind of issues is understanding the basis. Understanding hmm. the basis and know that as a man, you have to be in the middle and you have to take a stand, not supporting either of them, but you really have a tough job to do. Thank you.